Hello, hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Let's see. It's time. Well, almost time. Okay. We are going to meet or to start the class at eight. At eight. At seven. Un minutito más. So we can start right now. Here we go. Teacher. Ajá, uh -huh. hello, tell me. Este, eh, le pido permiso en nombre de Ruby porque no, no va a poder estar presente. Really? Por motivos de fuerza mayor, está fuera del país. Oh, ok, ok. But is it only today? Solo será ahora, eh, Milton? Me imagino que sí, porque oh, well, right. eh, se iba a conectar desde donde estaba, pero, yeah. pero creo que no va a poder. Ya a esta okay. hora ya debería estar. Sí, es verdad. Bien, gracias por, por avisarme para poner ahí la justificación en la asistencia. There we go. Ok, veamos. I already have 11. Don't forget, cameras on. Sus cámaras encendidas. José Balmore, Joana, Jenny, Margarita, Irving, Cecia. And this week, we are going to finish uh, section number five. Section number five and as well as the first module. Básico, oh, perdón, principiante uno, termina esta semana, ok? Así que la asistencia igual es muy importante. Recuerden, 80% de asistencia. Y sí, tengo algunos que ya llevan el 74%. Estamos muy cerquita ya del 80%, pero también tengo otros. Quedamos por el 55 todavía. Vamos a conectarnos siempre a tiempo para no perder, pues, eh, la oportunidad de movernos al módulo número 2. Those are the recommendations for today. Ok, class, it's time to start already. And as you may see, we are going to finish this month, October. Bye bye, October. We are going to start November. Imagine tomorrow we are going to have a new month, November. Okay. So you have been doing a very good job. But let's go back to last week. And let me ask you do you still remember about the topic that we were covering? What was the topic from last week, last class? Uh, the present continuous. Yes, that's all right. The present continuous. Actions that are happening just right at this moment. Present continuous. Or expressions with the ING. ¿Se acuerdan? Verbo más ING. I am listening to the teacher. I am speaking right now. I am sleeping. I am running. So those expressions were with the ING form, okay? But for today, we are going to have a different topic. Section number five, and this is the topic. It may be easy, but we are going to learn something new, okay? Section number five, what are you doing? Okay, what are you doing? And the main topic is the time. Tell me the time. What time is it? What time, what time is it? Ese es el tema que ahora ¿Qué hora es? What time is it? Is it? Is it? Class number 13. And let's start right now. You know, in English, we have different ways to express the time. Tenemos formas diferentes de decir el tiempo, ¿ok? No solo it's 8 o'clock o las más comunes que puedan aprender, right? So this is what we are going to learn. But before we start, we are going to watch a video. This video is in the platform. You can easily go watch the video and review the topic. 
as many times as you need. Todas las veces que sea necesario, go and watch the video, okay? So here we go. What time is it there? That is the Hi topic. Hi everyone. Listen. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about different cities and international time zones. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between two people in different time zones. Let's get started by listening to a short audio program to practice different cities around the world. Let's listen and repeat. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, London, Casablanca, Cape Town, Warsaw, Moscow, Riyadh, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. Now let's listen to a conversation which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Okay, leave. Let's then. listen and repeat. Hello? Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Now it's your time to practice the conversation that we just heard. And also, I would like for you to answer the following questions in our discussion forums. By looking at the map, which cities are in the same time zone? Which cities are in your time zone? Okay, here we go. Let me go back real quick. And this is a very interesting topic, you know? As you may see at the beginning of this section, we were Vancouver. watching this map. What is this map about? What is it representing? Look, this is a representation of time, time zones. zones. And how do we say time zones in Spanish? Do you know? Time zones. Zonas horarias. Zonas horarias. Ah, hay otra palabrita que usamos. Not really zonas. Hay otra. Who can remember time zones in Spanish? Usos horarios. Usos horarios. Usos horarios. Do you know how to spell usos horarios in Spanish? Usos, sabían que va con S, con S, con H al inicio, perdón. Usos horarios, right? So this is how we spell it in Spanish. So, do you know, um, he was asking us, nos estaba preguntando al final del video, the time zone, in which time zone is El Salvador in what is our time zone? What do you think? Uh, Take a look at the map. Uh -huh. It's minus six. Right here. Let me see. Okay. So we are in this one. The time zone. So what countries do have the same time zone as in El Salvador? What other country have the same time zone as in as El Salvador? Do you know? ¿Qué otro país tiene el mismo time zone o la misma hora right now? Mexico. Ah, uh, Mexico, probably Mexico. Any other country? Honduras. Honduras, exactly, Oscar. Only Honduras? Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Oh. Costa Rica. Costa Rica, Guatemala, Guatemala, Guatemala. Oh, Central America. Exactly, Panama. Central America. We have the same time zone, exactly. In Mexico, I'm not quite sure. 
tal vez cambia. And I don't know, did you notice? Hay algunos países que ayer, creo que fue ayer, or the previous day, they had a change in time. Se fijaron que tienen un cambio de horario. Hay algunos países que se adaptan. De acuerdo a la season, ellos van haciendo un cambio de zonas o de horario, de usos horarios. You know why? ¿Saben por qué hacen eso? Why do they do that? For the light. Ajá. For the sunlight. Exactly. Exactly. Because of the sunlight. Es interesante saber cómo cambian su horario. Algunos atrasan una hora, otros adelantan una hora. Right? Por el sunlight. O también le llaman let me show you, okay? This is very famous, you know? Saving. They like saving. They, que día, y luego light. Saving. It's very famous, you know? And let me show you the dates. Aquí está el cambio, miren. They like saving. Está en Estados Unidos, terminó en noviembre 6. Estos son algunos, algunos lugares, ¿ok? Las fechas pueden variar, right? Pero en toda esa época, ellos cambian su horario por el Daylight Savings. Así se le llama. Daylight Savings, you know? So interesting. In El Salvador, we don't have a Daylight Saving. We don't. Probably we just experience, right? Experimentamos tal vez que el clima cambia, que la luz del día que se oscurece más rápido, amanece más rápido. I don't know, what is your perception? ¿Qué han experimentado estos días? In October. Amanece más rápido. All right, exactly, right? So, the but... Sun position. Yes, right, it's because of the sun position. Interesting, you know. In English... Uh, we have uh, those um, differences, you know, in time. But let me go and review the conversation again. What did you notice in the conversation? Había algo en la conversación. And let me show you the conversation again. Un horario diferente. Exactly, they had a different time. That's now it. let's listen to a conversation yes. which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Let's listen and repeat. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Now, okay. So what's the matter? What is the problem, class? What is the problem? <laughs> okay. She was sleeping, but now she is awake. That's okay. I'm awake. Ya estoy despierta. Le dice, That's okay. I'm awake now. So where is John? Where is John right now? In Australia. In Australia. Ah, he is in Australia. And what is he doing in Australia? What is he doing there? In a conference. Aha, uh -huh. look, he's saying, I am at a conference oh, yeah. where in Sydney. Sydney, 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 Australia, right? Remember? Okay, yeah. What time is it? What time is it there? What time is it there? Oh, it. it's 10 p.m. PM. 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 And it's 4 o'clock there. 
o'clock in Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Right. Yes, four o'clock in the morning. It was not 4 p.m. It is 4 a.m. Okay. So the problem is the differences in the time zones. If you had not in the same time zone, that's why he got confused. The confundio pensó que eran las 4 p.m. But not really. It is 4 in the morning or 4 a.m. Okay. So poor Debbie. Pobre Debbie. Me tocó levantarse que ahora 4 a.m. Right. And that is the conversation. So let me show you this chart that we are going to be using today in which we are going to look at a different example, you know, different expressions that we will be using. And you know, uh, hay un video también de esto. There is a video right there. If you want, we can go ahead. Podemos ver el video? What time is it? Let me see. Oh yes, we still have time. And we can review the same video, you know, with the conversation. Here we go. Para que vean cómo se usa. What time is it? 5.3, 5.3. And let's listen to some examples. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer questions using time expressions. Let's get started by looking at some clocks which are expressing the time. Let's listen and repeat. It's one o'clock. It's one o five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one forty five. It's a quarter to two. Now, what we want to do is make our own examples by changing the time on those clocks. I'm going to change the time for each and express a different time. Let's do it. Instead of one o'clock, we will say two. Notice that the only thing that we will change is the number for now. It's two o'clock. For our uh, next example, it's 2.05. After that, it's 2.15. Then it's 2.30 or it's half past two. Next, it's 2.40 or it's 20 to three. Our last example, it's a quarter to three or it's 2.45. Okay, look at the examples that he is presenting. As you may see, we have different clocks. Exact time, tenemos el de la hora exacta. O'clock. But let me move. Está muy pequeñita esta imagen. Let me present this one. O'clock. What time is it? It's 2 o'clock. And then we have, what time is it? It's two. It's two or five. Oh, five. O sea, la dos y? Cinco. Cinco, there we go. Cinco. What time is it? It's, it's two. two fifteen. Ah, uh -huh, it's two fifteen. Ya vamos a ver las expresiones. Don't you worry. What time is it here? It's. It's two thirty. Ah, Let me present this one. What time is it? It's two forty. It's two forty. It's two forty. There we go. And the last one. What time is it? It's two forty-five. Okay. There we go. Probably it's a little bit confusing. Cuando leemos con reloj, relojes de este tipo, right? Pero presentemos esto. Look, whenever we are going to have the exact time, oh, it's too small. We are going to use the expression o'clock. 
only for exact time, okay? Exact time. For example, this one, oh. Three o'clock. Three o'clock. Three o'clock. Okay, let me switch. Tengo que cambiar mi keyboard a, in, a español, si no, no me la agarra. Three o'clock. For example, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, and so on. I don't know. Se le quedó la... Okay, ahora sí ya lo veo. ¿Qué pasó? No lo veía, chicos. What happened? Friso. Yeah, right. I guess it's my, my internet connection. Vaya, cualquier cosa, recuerdan que vamos a estar y ustedes pueden esperar sin caso se me ve el internet. Ok, here we go. Let me try this one. Ok, just give me a second. Right here. Ah, by the way, before we continue, let me check the attendance list. Si no, nos vamos a entretener acá, ok? Let me check the attendance list first. And let me see, Alfonso, Antonio. Ok, Ana Maribel Cigarán. Brandon Steven Gómez. Creo que esa es, es otra lista. Sí. Not es really. Persona. That's all right. It's list the other. <laughs> That's right. Yo, ¿por qué no me responden? Yeah, it's a different group. Es el grupo siguiente. Ah, thank you, class. Alonso Jeremías, I see. But they look the same. Ahí está, hoy sí, Alonso Jeremías Polanco. Andrea Stephanie. Present teacher. There we go. Hoy sí, estoy bien. There we go, let me see. Cecia Abigail. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, did I mention Ángel Luciel? ¿Sí lo mencioné, Ángel? No. No, right? Okay. Ángel Luciel Mejía. Ahí está. Present, teacher. There we go. Damaris Claribel Molina. Present, teacher. Ok, excelente, Damaris. Dolores Patricia Chávez. Present, teacher. Ok. Teacher, en el grupo han mandado una compañera que no va a poder estar presente, que se llama Vanessa. Vanessa, vaya, gracias. Ahorita vamos a ubicar acá. Vanessa, ya voy a revisar. Ok, just give me one moment. Ok, Ervin Adiel. Ok, Fernando José Martínez. Giovanni Alexandra. Ok, Fernando is right there. Excellent. Giovanni Alexander. Jenny Margarita. Present teacher. Ray. Joana Marbelli. José Valmore. Present teacher. There we go. Jose Francisco Lobo. Josiel Osmani. Present teacher. Okay, there we go. Carla Azucena. Present. Okay, Carla, Carla Patricia. Present. There we go. Marlon Jonathan. Present teacher. Okay. Marvin Danilo. Mauricio Edgardo. Present 
Milagro de la Paz. Here I am, Miss. There we go, excellent. Milton Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Oscar Armando. Oscar Francisco. I am here, teacher. Excellent. Rubidia Elizabeth. She's not going to. He's be over here. here. Okay. Saul Ernesto. Yes, teacher. There you go. Stephanie Brendali. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Valeria de Carmen. Present teacher. Okay. Vanessa Alejandra. She's not here, right? Okay, there we go. So, did I mention everyone in the class? I think you may have faltado. Not really. Okay, so let's continue. Aquí estamos ya. Les decía de las horas exactas, ¿verdad? This is yes. the expression that we are going to use, o'clock. Ahora sí, let me present this one. So, for example, can we say, right now, can we say it's three o'clock? No. Uh, can we say it's three o'clock? No. No, right? So, can I say it right now? It's three o'clock. Yes. Yes. Yes, right? Why? Because it is the exact time. No importa que haya pasado un minuto, no. Or that we are missing a minute, right? No. This is not going to be a clock. Only exact time. And the correct spelling. O clock. Lleva un apóstrofe, okay? O clock. Hora exacta, o'clock. Look at what we have here. 2.05. Whenever we have time, cuando inician con cero, cuando tienen este, esta terminación, look, 2.05, it can be 4, it can be 6, or any other difference, right? In English, we are going to say O. En lugar de decir zero, ¿qué vamos a decir? Miren. O. Oh, o, oh. oh, como la vocal. <coughs> o, oh, five. It's two, O, oh, five. What time is it here? Four, O, oh, four, O, oh, five. It's four, O, oh, five. What time is it here? It's six, O, oh, five. five. It's six, O, oh, five. Okay. It's six, O, oh, five. So it's two, O oh, five. Two, Recuerden eso. Oh. Decimos O oh, en lugar de decir zero. We are going to say O. Oh. O. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, Or we have another expression that is after. After. What time is it? It's five. Five. After, after two. 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 Son cinco después. La. Dos. Dos y cinco. Eso sería como las dos y cinco. En this one. Cinco después. Cinco después. ¿Cuánto pasó de las dos? Five. So cinco. it's five. five after two. It's five after, after two. Four. Y aquí en esta. It's five after five. after six. There we go. We also have this example. Look, whenever we have 15 minutes, we can use this expression in English. Look, it's 2, 15, que sería la forma más fácil de leerla, right? It's 2, and then 15. It's 2 15. What time is it? 2 15. It's 2 15. What time is it, class? It's 4 15. 
It's four fifteen. In this one. It's six fifteen. Fifteen. It's six fifteen. There we go. And we also have another example or another type of saying the time. The expression quarter. ¿Qué significará quarter in English? Cuarto. 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 Y cuando hablamos de dinero, ¿qué significa? <risa> quarter. Una, Una cora. Una cora, dicen. Entonces es lo mismo, quarter. Pero en tiempo Pero significa... Parte. Exactamente. Si dividimos el reloj, miren, en four different parts. Obviamente representa una cuarta parte. En este caso, 15 minutes, right? Representa 15 minutos. Y decimos quarter. It's a quarter. It's a quarter after. 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 Y luego la hora. What time is it? It's a quarter. After two. After two. Excellent. And how about this one? What time it's is it? A quarter. A quarter. After four. Four. It's a quarter after four. And in the last one, what time is it? It's, it's a quarter after six. six. There we go. It's a quarter after after. Okay. Let's use the same example. Usemos los mismos. Uh, but with red, con rojo. This is for 15 minutes. If we have this type of expression and this one. It's mm -hmm. Two, you know, two, we have two ways. También tenemos dos formas. Aquí solo aparece una. Decimos it's two thirty. Yeah. O sea, las dos treinta. Yeah. And in this case, what time is it? Four thirty. Four thirty. And here, it's six thirty. Or we can also have this expression. Let me write this for you. Alguien sabe que otra expresión usamos? Es mito. Algo, ah, por ahí two. vamos. Cerquísima. Pero no decimos mito. It's, look. Half. 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 It's half after Y aquí no decimos. Two. Podemos decir past o podemos decir uh, uh, mi teclado, after. It has past after. After, ahí está. It has past two. It has after two. It has after two. Mm -hmm. Pero saben que la más común es esta, past. Esta es la más común o la que yo he escuchado más. O sea, pasó la mitad, en este caso de ahora, half. It's half past. Mm -hmm. Half past. Half, half half. Half. And the pronunciation. Um, es como que la L no half. se pronuncia, ¿ok? Half. half. ¿Otra vez? It's half. 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 Porque si decimos half, ah, ah, eso no existe. Half. 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 Muy bien, half. It has passed. Exacto. Vaya, repasemos. It has. It has. It has. Usemos after. Now after. It has. After. After. There we go. And here, what time is it? It's half, it's half after four. There we go. Or it's half after. It's half after six. No, this one. Seguimos con esto. Es hasta. After four. There we go. And the last one. What time is it? It's half after six. Or. It's half after six. Okay, there we go. Muy bien. Remember, ha, ha. 
what else can we have? Mm -hmm. ¿Cuándo han pasado 40? Ah, but in this case. Look. Acá ya cambia la expresión, ¿ok? We are not going to say after. We are going to use a different expression. Look. Ya no vamos a usar after, que vamos a utilizar the expression to, 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 para, para. O sea que falta cuánto para las tres. Nine, ya no leo acá. 8, 20, to 2. Ajá, muy bien. To 2 or to 3. Puedo decir it's 2.40, son las 2.40. Four. O faltan 20. Two, ¿Para qué hora? 3. Para las 3. Ah, ok. Aquí ya leemos diferente. Faltan 20 para qué hora? Exactly, for three. What time is it? It's 22. It's 22. 22. Five. To five. And this one? It's 22. It's 22. 22. Six. Seven. To seven. Okay, remember, no faltan 20 a las dos. Faltan 20 a la. Tres. It's not two, it's three. It's twenty-two. It's five. Faltan veinte a las cinco. It's twenty-two seven. Faltan veinte a las siete. Muy bien. Veinte a las siete. Okay. So in here is different. Qué cambia. Tengan cuidado con eso. And let's see. We have the last expression. Agregámosle dos expresiones más, okay? Using the same structure, two, por cual vamos, 45. Four, 45. And the last one, six, 45. And let me see, vamos a agregar uno más. Let me move you here. Vamos a ver por acá. Yo voy a agregar esta, look. No está en el cuadro, pero es necesario. 455 and 655. Okay, take a look at this one. This is what we are looking right now. Cuando tenemos lo mismo, 45. Podemos decirla, it's 245. Son las 245, right? O lo mismo, falta cuánto. It's para que ore. Uh -huh. And three. we don't say, aquí no decimos it's 15, aunque se sí puede decir, faltan 15 para las tres, it's 15, pero we better use the expression quarter. Estamos a través de la expresión quarter. Miren, water. solo que ahora water. para it's a quarter to it's a quarter to three. Two, three. What time is it? It's a quarter it's to a four. It's a two, quarter. Four, five. Four, five. Two, five. 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 There we go. What it's time is it? It's a quarter it's a to four, 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 seven. Four, four, seven. seven. Two, seven. Where is the next four? Yeah? Two, two. 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 ¿Qué significa two? two. Para. Para. Ah. Para. Para. After. Después. Pues. Two and after. Two and after. Muy bien. And whenever we have this one. Cuando hacen falta cinco. Aquí si decimos it's five, five two. Faltan two, cinco five. para las doce. No, right? Faltan five, cinco a las doce. Faltan cinco three. para las doce. In this case, it's five, two. Igual expresión. Two. It's five, two, three. It's five, two, five, two, four, five. Faltan cinco para las cinco. And it's five, two. La siguiente hora es seven. And that's it. So, dividamos esto en esta forma. Todas estas, ¿qué expresión van a utilizar? Eh, after, do or after? Do, do, 
to. to. Muy bien. Pongámosla acá que to. van a ocupar la expresión to. Que es para. Para. In the case of las primeras, ¿qué expresiones voy a ocupar? Class? Esta. This one. Todas vamos a ocupar un after. Y así pueden dividirlo, ¿ok? Para que no se olviden. After. After. And that's it. ¿Ok? Practice right now. Vamos a practicar ahorita. Let me send you this one. Le voy a enviar esto ahorita. But let me mute this one. Vamos a silenciar un resultado. Los... Ok. Voy a enviar esta información al chat right now. Questions. Antes de detener la, la proyección, preguntas, algo que quieran que repitamos. Here. Questions. Not for the moment. Not for the moment. Are you sure? Vale, vamos a ver en la práctica cómo le va a pasar algo similar. You're going to do something similar. Here we go. Okay. Siempre traten de preguntar si nos queda claro. Repitamos. Porque... Solo es una clase, muchas veces es una clase por tema. So, yo trato de irlo más despacio posible. Okay. But here we go. Did you get the picture? ¿Ya tiene la picture por ahí? Yes. Ok, yes, teacher. Now, what are you going to do? Miren su tarea ahorita. And you are going to find this one right here. Listen. Now I would like for you to change these expressions in a different way. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 3 in the afternoon. It's 3 a.m. It's 6 p.m. It's 4 p.m. Okay. This is what we are going to do. Okay, we are going to say these expressions in a different way. Vamos a decirlas en forma diferente. But before, va a ser su trabajo final. In English, ya les mostré las horas exactas y todo eso. But right now, look, tenemos horas que las expresamos con a.m. And also p.m. a.m. PM, ¿ok? ¿Cuáles serán esas? ¿Desde qué horas hasta qué horas va M y hasta qué hora va PM? Do you know? Desde la una, Morning. desde las 12 de la madrugada. Hasta ok. La, ah, ¿a hasta qué horas mediodía? amanece? Let me see. O empecemos por acá. Vámonos desde acá. Fine. Desde las 5 hasta las. No, es de, de las 12. Ok. Desde de, de las 12 de la noche, aunque le digamos nosotros, es de, de las 12. Yes. A, um. vale. Ok, vaya, vale. pongámosla ahí. Ya, ya van a ver porque yo quería empezar desde las 5, pero no worry. Desde las 12, up to like 11, hasta las 11 y. 59. 59. 59. 59, yeah, that's right. Ahí son las AM. I okay. am. Porque luego le sigue algo que se llama noon. Mm. Voy a escribir acá. This is AM. Minúscula. Y no olviden la puntuación. A punto M punto. Ok. Dos puntos lleva. The expression P. No. Let me see. Noon. Solo va a ser utilizada para, in this case, 12. Mediodía. 
Okay. Noon. Nada más puede ser para las 12 del mediodía. Noon. ¿Y qué tenemos luego de noon? A la misma expresión lo dice, miren. After. Um, after what? After noon. After noon. So it goes after. from one to one afternoon. Hasta que la llega el afternoon. Sí. Like, after. decimos seis de la tarde o seis de la noche. Seis de la tarde. Like six, right? There we go. Six. Six afternoon. That is afternoon. Y yo cuando los saludo, les digo siempre, hi class, good evening. ¿Por qué creen que les digo evening y no good night? Porque es un saludo de inicio. Ay, de porque va desde las seven hasta qué horas. Like around, alrededor de las nueve. Depende, right? Around nine de las nueve. Eso es good evening. ¿Y qué tenemos luego? Night. Night. There we go. Night. Y la noche desde que hora pasa. Probably from 10 hasta las 11. 50 night. Nos hace falta algo. ¿Qué sería? Y aquí Morning. No voy a morning. Morning. No, ya tenemos morning, que es I am. Y madrugada ya tenemos, o sea, la madrugada. No, eso, madrugada. Midnight, la madrugada, muy bien. Por eso la puse aquí antes. Midnight, ¿qué midnight. sería? 12. Y ahí está nuestra midnight. escala. Midnight, AM, o también AM. podemos decirle morning, también es morning. morning. Okay. Noon, Noon, que es el mediodía. Afternoon. Afternoon. Evening, Evening and night. night. Okay. And that's it. What time is it? ¿Qué hora es ahorita, clase? Vayan, chequen su reloj. What time is it? It's it what it to not really. Ah, it pero yo ya. Ya tengo las 46, así que ella no aplica quarter, solo cuando es exactamente 15. It's a I quarter. Had, I had 745. It's 740. It's 42 a.m. 746 a.m. or p.m.? p.m. p.m. There we go. What time is your English class? ¿A qué hora va su English class? Ah, and it's at 7 o'clock. At 7 o'clock, muy bien. What time finish? It finishes. It's 8 o'clock. At 8 o'clock a.m. or p.m.? P.m. P.m., muy bien. Bien, clase, 5 minutes. Mira lo que tienen acá. Necesitan ustedes cambiar todas estas expresiones en palabras diferentes, ¿ok? It's 8 o'clock in the morning. ¿Cómo diríamos esta? Son las 8 de la mañana. Ah, It's en lugar de decir in the morning, ¿qué usarían? It's 8 o'clock. AM. Ah, muy bien, ya me entendieron. It's 12 o'clock at night. ¿Qué, qué otra forma le decimos? It's 12 o'clock. It's midnight. Yeah. Ah, decimos. Midnight. Muy son bien. Las 12. There we go. Bye. Los envío en grupos. Analicen cómo cambiarían eso. Se los voy a enviar ahorita a WhatsApp. Ok. Five minutes to practice and then we come back. Here we go. Go with your classmates right now. Se los envío a WhatsApp right now. Okay, let me go back. Here we go. And don't worry, if you cannot go with your classmates, you can stay here. Bye, I leave you go.
Okay, go. You can work here, okay? Dolores se puede quedar acá, con Milagro, con Carla. Aquí pueden trabajar, okay? Don't worry. Okay. Okay. It's the A of oh. in the I A L. Para decir a M, corríjame ahí, por favor. No the pronunciation, the pronunciation, Carla. Oh, okay. okay. Sí, la pronunciación es, sería uh -huh. A-M. A -M. Uh -huh. um, M. Okay. Uh -huh. Como de crear el alfabeto. A -M. M. M. Muy bien. Muy bien, Dolores. It's 12 o at PM. No. No sé, vean con sus compañeros ahí. Did you finish? No. Este, it's, donde dice it's 3 a.m. Podemos poner it's 3 o'clock in the morning. In the morning. Excellent. Uh -huh. Es como otra forma de decir a.m. In the morning. Perfect. <coughs> y en el it's 4 in afternoon. Oh. ¿Qué piensa, chicas? Sí, Grupo, ¿qué piensa? Se fue. Mm -hmm. Sí. Yes. Aquí In vamos a traer de regreso. In afternoon. Ajá. Bueno, vamos a ver, revisémosla las dos. Don't worry. ¿Qué número era? It's 3 a.m. No, ¿cuál era? La última. No. And ah, it's three in the afternoon. That it's one? Four. four. Oh, it's 4 p.m.? Uh -huh. It's four in, in, in the afternoon. In the afternoon, exactly. It's four uh -huh. in the afternoon, yes. Y la última, it's 12 in the noon. It's 12 noon. Muy bien. It's 12 noon. noon. No, no se dice the, in, in the noon. No, solo sería noon. noon. Muy bien. Ah, sí, okay. Exactamente. Muy yeah. bien. Excellent. Bien, creo que ya todos habrán terminado. It's not that difficult. No es tan difícil. Okay, here we go. Ahí está Brenda Lee. But let's go back. Volvamos ya a la sala principal. Here we go. It's six PM. It's six PM. Six o'clock. But PM is um, afternoon. Uh, six is afternoon. Mm -hmm. It's six o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, did you finish? Just wait for your classmates. Yeah. It's four. Yeah. It's, it's twelve four, PM. Four o'clock in the afternoon. In the afternoon, okay. Let me show you this video again. Y aquí tenemos, miren, the first expression. It's 12. Okay, number one. Number it's one. PM. Look. It's two o'clock. Acá no hay otra forma porque no sabemos si es a.m. or p.m. Right? 12. But in this case. Let me see. p.m. Is two o five. Okay, aquí va. It's noon. And 
Ahí se fijan, ustedes sí. pueden ver igual el video otra vez y estas son las que nos pedían. Ok, here we go. Number one, it's eight o'clock in the morning. It's eight o'clock in the morning. ¿Qué pensarían? Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo lo decimos de diferente forma? How do we say this in a different way? It's eight o'clock a.m. A.m. There we go. It's eight o'clock a.m. A.m. Mm -hmm. Okay, Joanna Marbelli. What do you have for this one? It's twelve o'clock at one night. Joanna Marbelli, what do you have there? It's eight. No, I'm sorry. It's twelve o'clock at night. This one. Okay. You're mute. Your microphone, please. It's midnight. It's midnight, right? Uh huh. It's midnight. Night. Muy muy bien. Marbelli, no sé qué le pasó a su micrófono, pero muy bien clase. It's Midnight. midnight. Miren, en lugar de decir todo eso, it's 12 o'clock at night, que no se escucha igual eh, natural, decimos it's midnight. Let me see, how about you, José Valmore? ¿Cómo decimos esto en otra forma? It's three in the afternoon. In the afternoon. What do you think? It's three in the afternoon. It is three in the afternoon. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y en lugar de decir in the afternoon, ¿qué podemos decir? It's three. It's three p.m. Three p.m. It's three p.m. There we go. This one. It's three a.m. ¿Qué piensa en clase? It's three o'clock p.m. It's three in the morning. It's three in the morning. It's three in the morning. After midnight. In the, in the morning. Ah, ya está. Válido. Entonces, ¿será que decimos in the morning or midnight? It's midnight. midnight. Ajá. It's midnight. After midnight? Midnight. 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 No, it's midnight. morning. ¿Qué les dije? La única que llevaba midnight. ¿Cuál es? Meridiano. Las 12. Las 12. 12. Es lo mismo que las 12 del mediodía y las 12. Ajá, saben que sí son exclusivas esas expresiones. Las demás ya son consideradas morning, yes. Ya, es la madrugada. Sí, pero solo es para las 12. Nosotros es que entendemos todo ese bloque como madrugada, porque en sí lo es. Muy bien. Pues sí, cuando nosotros decimos a las 3 de la mañana, sabemos que... Ah, pero decimos de la mañana o de la madrugada, pero en español sí no. lo entendemos, you know? Ajá. En Spanish, claro que lo entendemos, pero en inglés... A una de la mañana. Lo entendemos como morning, ¿saben eso? Morning. Mm. So, please, la be una careful. de la madrugada. En Spanish lo entendemos, pero en inglés, not really. Let's continue. It's 6 p.m. It's 6 p.m. ¿Qué piensan? It's p.m. In, in the afternoon. In, in the afternoon. Me gusta. It's 4 p.m. ¿Qué piensan acá? It's four. In the afternoon. afternoon. In the afternoon, it's 12 p.m. How about this it's one? Noon. It's noon. Muy bien. Noon. Todo esto es it's noon, al igual que esta. It's midnight, ¿ok? Please, algo que no quiero que olviden nunca. Todas nuestras horas empiezan con... It's, 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 y luego va la hora. It's 5 p.m., it's 4 a.m., it's 7.59. And we have two expressions to ask. For the time. La más común, básica y más conocida es what time is time is it. Es como que se une, miren, is it. What time is it? Or this is very formal. Hey, I'm sorry. Do you have the time? Pero es muy, muy, muy 
formal. Así que hay dos formas de preguntar el tiempo. What time is it? Hey, do you have the time? It's 12 o'clock. It's midnight. Okay. And that's it. What time is it? Vean su reloj ahorita. What time is it? It's eight o'clock. It's eight o'clock. PM. Muy bien, me gusta eso. Or at night. It's time to leave. Eso me gusta más, dice mi lectora. It's time to leave. Yes. Esas son expresiones también que llevan it. It's time to leave. Eh, don't worry. I have a picture. Tengo una imagen de esto. La recopilación de todo lo que hemos visto. Se la voy a compartir. Para que repasen. Mañana hacemos un nuevo repaso. Ok, class. Thank okay, you for teacher. coming today. Hoy sí, faltaron muchos. Motivemos a sus compañeros si los conoces, si son compañeros de trabajo también, que no se pierdan las clases. Ok. See you uh, tomorrow. Have a good day. A question. Tell me, Oscar. I'm here. Este, se puede decir también como, uh -huh. can you get me tie, please? No, not really. Sería traducción muy literal. Oh, no. Okay. Así es, tal vez estructuradamente es correcto, pero no suena natural. Así que no. What time is it? Or do you have the time? Okay. Thank pregunta? you. You're welcome. Si sure. no hay más preguntas, <laughs> chicos, let's stop here, okay? And see you tomorrow. Have a good night, class. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good, night. good, evening. good, evening. good, evening. good evening. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night.